Welcome back to another edition of Value My Vote 2011, one-on-one -on -one with the candidates. And we're here joined today at the Board of Elections on the election filing date, the filing deadline, 9 p.m. tonight, July 5th. We're here with the 10th District candidate, the Democrat from the 10th District, Mr. Bill Marker. How are you doing, sir? Doing fine. How are you? Uh, just right. Just uh, right. How are you feeling, though? I'm, you filed? I'm, you ready to go? I'm fired. I'm not ready to go. I am going. You're going? Uh, I'm going. I've gone. Lots of been out to meetings after meetings and mm -hmm. a lot of cop walks mm -hmm. and do all sorts of things. So I've been out and going and uh, got another... Uh, Ten weeks of a lot of doing to do. Mm -hmm. Now you'll be running as a Democrat, of course, in the primaries. This primary, September thirteenth. Right. Um, why are you running in the tenth district? Because, because I live in the tenth. With the redistricting, I live in the tenth district. Okay. Pig, I'm, I'm active in Pigtown. Pigtown had been split into three different districts. Four years ago, I looked forward and saw the redistricting issue, and I surveyed the candidates and got a commitment from Rawlings Blake, who was then running for city council president, and two of our three council people, that they would put us into one district was redistricting, and they have done that. Uh, the tenth district, I looked at it and thought I had a good opportunity to win, and I've long been involved. I've long wanted. I have been serving people, but I've long wanted to serve in elective office, and so here I am running. Running. Okay. Now you said because you live in there. Now had you not lived in the tenth before redistricting, had you ran in the old district that you were in, or are you running because you don't believe that the county councilman, Ed Rice Singer, is doing the job that Bill Marker can do? I, I do believe I will do a very good job. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the, the incumbent is one narrowly indicates that there are people who don't think he's done a great job. Mm -hmm. Frankly, had I been left in the same district with Bill Cole, it's unlikely that I would have run against him. Part of politics is having a sense of what can or can't be done. Mm -hmm. And even though I know I would make a great councilman, Part of the question was, which district would I be put in? What would the field look like? Mm -hmm. um, in this instance, I think I have a real good shot. Okay. What is the campaign platform of a bill marker uh, in the 2011 election? I'm talking three things. One, I want to deliver great constituent service. I'm community-based. I was For six years, I was president of Citizens of Pigtown and very involved in community activities. I've been meeting with as many community associations that I can. I want to deliver great service. Helping people is, part, is a major part of the job. I also want to make the, the government work better. Uh, I want to meet with citizens. What do you think could tweak the, how can we tweak city government to make it better? I want to get input from the uh, city's employees and, and their leaders, what can we do to make their jobs work better? I am a, a government employee. I work for the state. I think it's important to get input from the people who are doing the job. That's what the little d democracy is about. And from the people who need to get the services, such as, are there some offices that should be open later? It's 2011. Maybe years ago we didn't, but maybe for people to have access to their government, we got to change some hours and stuff. So one is great constituent service. Two is making the government work better. And three, I have got some fresh ideas. Uh, a variety of them. Two that I'll that I, to mention. One is a small idea. Uh, I had reason early this year to want to have a visitor's brochure in Spanish uh, to send to, to send to somebody in Mexico that I that I had met. Um, and went down to the visitor center. There are no the tourist brochures in any other language. If somebody is visiting Hopkins, University of Maryland, one of our institutions, and wants to spend a tourist afternoon down at the harbor, they should know, and we can't do every language, but in languages that lots of visitors are likely to speak, we can have something about what's Fort McHenry, what's the Museum of, of Industry, what is uh, the, 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 the Arts Museum, the very special arts museum for outsider art on the harbor, Federal Hill, all explaining all these things that should be in other languages. That's a small idea that could be done fairly quickly. My big idea, this is a brochure on my one state, one rate plan. Uh, the idea of that is to solve our tax problems, is that we are one state of Maryland, we should all pay the same property tax rate in the state, go into one pot and be distributed on according to population or according to need. I believe it will go a long way towards solving our financial problems. It would lower our tax rate so people could afford to move in or have businesses that could choose to move to the city or to work or to have a, employment here. And yet we would still have our, our revenues, indeed more revenues. So fresh ideas. So again, three ideas. One, um, 
great constituent service, two, making the government work better, three, fresh ideas, let's change some things. How can the viewers who are watching this get more about Bill Marker and his run for city okay. council? The website is www.billmarker, that's B-I-L-L-M-A-R-K-E-R.com. Um, they can also email me at wmmarker, that's two M's, wmmarker at gmail. Dot com, either one of those ways. And of course, the people, the people who tend to vote in the district, in the 10th district, can expect to have me knocking at their door. Okay, Bill Marker, thank you so much for your time, and we thank wish you. you all the well when you're running for the thank 10th Kansas Senator. Thank and you, we'll be you. back with more.